I like the little pictures people do when they'll like have a picture of a meme and then they'll put like, just send her this or send him this. Oh and yeah. They'll put, let it'll be like 15 letters and people can decipher what the letters yeah. say. You're not black if you can't, if you can't, um, <laughs> If you if you don't know what this is, real talk, it's just like a bunch of letters and it'd it's be like, a bunch of letters and it'd boy, be like, if you don't get in the motherfucking house, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> oh, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> welcome to season two of Iman Amongst Men, the show that takes an honest look at what it is to be a man in today's world. We don't shy away from topics most people are too afraid to talk about. We gonna take it all the way there. It's season two, y'all. Let's get it. Welcome to Iman Amongst Men, presented to you by Uninterrupted. I'm Iman Shumper, here with my big brother Ari. Ari, go and give what's up to the people. What's going on, people? Today we got another special guest. <laughs> We're joined by a singer, yeah. performer, yeah. dancer. Yeah. Give it up for Jordan Ward. Hey, man, one time. Welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the show, brother. Thank y'all for having me, man. I'm I'm a fan of the show as well, man. Oh, for real? Yeah, for sure. Like, I've seen... Um, the one y'all did with Miles, yeah, um, and he was a dancer Shout too. Out to Miles, man. Yeah, I don't, I'm not trying to. I just don't know his last name. I'm not trying to call you him good. first Brown, name, right? Miles Brown. Yeah, That's good enough. Miles is good enough. He knows his name. Yeah, and um, <laughs> he knows his name. The, what up, what? Is that how you say Tobe? Tobe. Toby. Toby. Yeah, yeah. That, one that was, was a really good conversation. Yeah. yeah. So I rock with him, man. Yeah, it's uh, it. we've had some. I think season two, um, you can tell that more, more and more guests have now seen the show, mm. and they're like more excited to come on and open up. Like I think at first you like are hesitant. Like yeah, I know I am at, at least like, yeah, you don't know what to expect. You're like I don't know what type of, they gonna grill me with questions like where this is gonna lead to. But to tell you the truth, bro, we just, we fathers, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we don't like media that we gotta comb through to find what we want. You know what I'm saying? Like we like to stay grounded in what we ask and everything, so. You know, it's gonna be a fun, a fun show, dog. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you can let your hair down. Yeah, yeah, you all. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, man. And I'm like a a YouTube junkie. I don't I don't watch a lot of TV. So like I've like when I seen you start doing this, yeah. I wasn't as familiar with you before. No, you know no, what I'm no. saying? But um, no, he ain't do shit before. He was chill, right? Hey, nigga, man. like ducking the camera. <laughs> hey, man, I respect that. Sometimes I feel crazy always being in front of these cameras. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. But um. No, I just enjoyed your interviews. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like sure. and um like your history, your creative side. You know what I'm saying? How you make music and how, how you were like even the sport like is an expression of your creativity and your craft, you know? Uh -huh. And I feel like I ain't grew up doing sports like that, so it was a different perspective for me to hear that. No, you know it's definitely it's definitely cool to finally like do these podcasts I feel like for so long like we did interviews like yeah. interviews is one thing it's like you trying to do a two sentence answer and be quick and get out of there um with the podcast feel I don't know I don't remember when you were encouraging me to listen to podcasts a long time ago mm -hmm. but uh I don't know the sit down conversation is just capturing to me all of a sudden like even when yeah, uninterrupted yeah. reached out to do it uh it's always been a, a better way to get to know people and I felt like I wouldn't be the awkward interviewer. Like, I just don't feel like I got time for the awkward shit and I know he don't. <laughs> so it's like, I just feel like people would be comfortable and I'm happy to say that one, we've had a lot of guests uh, hit me and say, you know, they've gotten a great response from uh, coming on the show and you know what I'm saying? They felt like it helped, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've also had listeners, like I played the one the other day, that are saying like just the, the topics we're talking about, stuff we're diving into, um, they didn't know these people were open to that type of stuff because they never been asked. And it was, it's been cool to like funnel through this shit and discover how we can get the people what they want and when the guests come on the show, how we can get across what they're trying to get across. How do we dig for that in a respectful way? You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, the theme of today's show, uh, the journey and the destination. When you hear that, what comes to your mind? The journey and the destination, man. Man, what make what comes to mind? Shit, it's been a fucking journey. Can I can I curse? <laughs> you can yeah. do it. After I can curse. All right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a fucking journey, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, shit, I feel like every time I set a destination, by the time I even get there, it's like. I'm not even 
conscious of it and not in in a negative way but just that it's always a journey there is no destination you yeah. feel me there is no destination it's like man you know what i mean like that's that that's that's why it's all about energy man whatever drives you if it's creativity if it's competitiveness if it's people if it's spontaneity it's like every day is just a new new thing yeah. you know what i mean yeah. we only so yeah I'm glad to still have a journey in front of me. Like, damn, I never want to reach it. I never want to reach the thing. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> never. So you gonna be making. I mean, I, I do want to reach the thing, but I, but I, I mean, I get what you saying. I want to reach things. You want to keep challenging yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like that too. I've never. Uh, after they say uh, with athletes that they die twice, they have their death after their career and then their actual funeral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they say that they die twice, right? But. I, I never really understood. Like I'm like, when they broke this down, this life thing, and they said how long we our expectancy was, and then you break down how long you can actually play ball, and then you break down how many more years you gotta just be here, like with just nothing to do. I'm like, bro, the whole time I was over it, I was doing stuff, like always trying to get in this and get in that, and I always try and encourage people to do it, cause no matter what you do in life, is like you said, that journey is what you really on. Like the destination, you're going to get there and you're going to celebrate and you're going to have a good time, but you can't take it with you to tomorrow. Like unless, mm -hmm. well, championships, championships and awards and stuff. No, you know? there's always things. No, you can definitely take the them with the you. Road you can take, take stuff no, with you. No, there's always things at the end of the road. But you know what I mean? Like yeah, you're yeah, going to, no. the next day, your mind's not going to be like, man, we did that. Like your mind's going to be like, what can we do next? You know what I'm saying? How can I challenge myself? What's new? Uh, but we'll we'll get to that because I know you you started off one way and now you open it up into yeah. the music. So let's start back. We're Chicago guys. You was born in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Hey and man, then raised in St. Louis. I like to say I was born in Chicago, but I was born in Hoffman Estates. Hoffman Estates. That's I mean, it's Chicago. Okay, man. okay. We not, okay. No, no, we not. First off, we not big on the whole like. Oh man, he from Chicago. He from uh, yeah. uh, like we not like out of towners where it's like, yeah. oh, they from Old Block. Like yeah, yeah, he yeah, from yeah. the hood is to the hood. It's like no, nah, we like Chicago. If you know, if you could drive downtown, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know downtown and your people take the train and yeah. all that, you get Chicago. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So talk about uh, just being born there and then being raised in St. Louis. Well, my mom. So my whole family's from St. Louis, but my mom just moved there after college. On some, I'm getting a job. I'm mm -hmm. I'm 24, 20. My, she had me when I was 26, so she was there like in her early 20s, just working, you know. And um, Chicago is like six hours north of St. Louis, where I'm where I grew up, where I'm really from. And for me, for her, for anybody, Chicago is always just like a place where you go to expand. I guess you know what mm, I mean. Yeah. And um. Yeah, I was born there, but I only lived there for a month. Like, oh, I don't okay. remember. I, I was telling people till I was like seven, like, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> and my friends were like, bro, you're not from Chicago, bro. Hey, we know you, you from here. You know what I'm saying? But I love Chicago though, man. Yeah. Like, I, I, it feels like a, a second home to me, you know? Or when you go back, when you go to Chicago, when you land, what's the first thing you're going to get to eat? There's this sushi spot that I just got, I just had for the first time, man. I'm tr man, we had it on tour, bro, and we 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 in Chicago. Yes. Oh, what is it called, bro? It was bussing. A sushi spot. Yes, bussing. It's Chicago got good food. We got great food. He sushi? just didn't expect you to say sushi. Not sushi. He thought you was. Gonna I thought say you was gonna say chicken, yeah. Bro. I thought you. Was I gonna mean, I mean, you know, I just didn't want to. Obviously, I'm obviously I'm going to Harold's. No, but I want to hear about this sushi spot that you're talking mm -hmm. about. I've never yeah. heard somebody go to Chicago and be man. like, man, they got this sushi spot. This bro. a bad motherfucker. <laughs> no, like, it's, it's actually busting. It's busting. That's busting. crazy. And, and maybe, you sticking by it. Maybe just being on the road where the food fire ratio was like hit or miss. Oh no, not maybe not we had it at a time when it was like. We needed it, so it was super fire. <laughs> <laughs> I got what you said. Yeah, you like it might just be a good sushi spot in yeah, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. But if first you thing I'm, I mean, get, when I was growing up, it was the Garrett's. Like if me Garrett's and my popcorn. mom, if me and my mm -hmm. mom were driving to Chicago, my god, mom, my auntie would call her like, "Girl, make Garrett's. sure you give me a ten uh -huh. You know what I'm oh, saying? Like bro. people come back home, damn near slanging that shit. Real like time? what the hell? Real time. <laughs> yeah. Small, the little cans, the little baby oh, cans. No, yeah, you remember. can get them out for upsell. I you remember. can. If motherfucker had to do that drive for you. Yeah. You low key can get them off because you yeah. can't get them. Well, I would, now you can. Now it's in the yeah, airport. You can get them it's online now. Yeah, yeah. They don't. They don't give a fuck. 
Yeah, yeah that's that it's shit not is a delicacy fire, man. anymore. Yeah. I'm a, when I land in Chicago, I'm either going to Harold's, Uncle Remus, uh, Portillo's. Portillo's. Uh, late night, I'm gonna go to Maxwell's. Uh, What's Maxwell's? Oh man, it's uh, it's in the South Loop. Street Dogs, man. Mm. Yeah, get you a Polish man grilled onions. Okay, okay. Mustard. You know what I'm saying? Nice grilled Polish dog. Eat that motherfucker sitting right there on your car after the club, man. Real no play. lie, it's not even that special. It's, it's just the whole play. fact the that it's a, yeah, it's because it's, it's on a it's like, on like a dead street and there's nowhere to like. But uh, it's lit. The street's lit right after the club. Yeah, okay. yeah but it's everybody's just parked there, so yes. there's nowhere to actually walk in. It's just a service window, and that's it. It's a vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a like, stand. So you, you like walk. Yeah. You like walk around. There's no. Sit yeah. down anywhere, no seating. Yeah, so everybody be out there eating in their car. It's raw, yeah. Some people hood. sit at the window, some people sit at their car, just be walking around, but it's just. That's how you know some food is good if like they're only offering food. Yeah. Like, you're not coming inside. <laughs> oh, bro, no we're not, we're not, food. We're not shaking hands. <laughs> nah. Get this food, bro. They okay. don't even come out the thing. Like, but I, think a, they, I think they like that people stand out there, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They what? love they that. Good advertisement. Yeah, yeah it's great. they love it. I, but I can't imagine like the, the amount of issues they've had. They don't, probably don't even have to answer to it because they like we don't even have no, no sit down. Yeah, no, 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 they don't. Damn. I mean, honestly, yeah. if I was serving food clues, in Chicago, I would do the same or St. Louis late at night. Same shit. Yeah, I'm putting that shit in a fucking thing. What's what's yeah, that thing that you partition just partition that you slide in? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, yeah no contact. Know. He don't want no contact. I feel like y'all the, the, the captive the captive slide. <laughs> you got somebody captive. You slide them that they get it back. Y'all uh -huh. do the Joe. Yeah, <laughs> close the, the Joe. window. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Exactly what, what, did, what are those dogs called? Not Coney dogs. What are they called? The the the. The sausages you were just talking about? Oh, oh but, uh, uh, brat. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Bratwurst. Bro, oh, the, but uh, what what y'all locally call them though? Polish. Oh, the Polish. Polish. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's when like he said the word. I just uh, when I, when he start when anytime somebody starts saying a dog and I hear a C, I just automatically think of Kane Corso. You think of who? Kane Corso. Mm. Uh, I was gonna say Kane Corso. <laughs> I, no, no, I know. Love Kane Corsos. Real talk. He had one. Uh, kind of scared to have. No, one. I know he's still alive. But I'm saying he had okay. one Man. with us in uh, New York. And Hennessy was probably like this big in our yeah he had about this big in our hands dog and then how fast the man got big I, every time I would come off the road I'd be like this little nigga like yeah. <laughs> but he was just loyal as hell like now he just loyal to this nigga like now nah, just like, no 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 he's a good dog you ain't been around he's, he's like uncle dog. you ain't been around dog I don't even know how you smell for real That's nah, a, he's a good yeah dog. exactly like you like like your your friend that got like a big dog. So yeah. when you come around, but you don't see him all the time. So when you first come around, you try to remind him, hey, it's me, yeah, it's me hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Like, remember? You feel me? My friend got a Doberman. I'll be like, hey, hey, bro. You like, got you got a dog? Don't do no, that. No, no, I want one so yeah, bad. don't do that. What? what? Get a dog? What? No, 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 no. Get a dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying like if, you, like if you think you're scared of a dog or if you think like you're in a fearful situation with one, don't back down. Don't get like high-pitched voice. Yeah. Don't be like, oh, what's up? Don't panic. Yeah. Like, this a dog. Act like he, no, nah, for real. Like the shit I need works. to learn. Act like they do not, not listen there. to this nigga. Yeah. This nigga will get That's why I stopped doing like, you alone. Somebody told me when you walk in the room, you're not supposed to give all the attention to the dog right away because it's like. Yeah, that's the alpha male thing. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like if you walk in the room and you don't, you act like, you know, basically my thing is you act like they're not there, especially if they just like all over you. If they like jumping on your shit, yeah. just turn, be like, you know, let them know it's not bothering you yeah. what you're doing, but. I'm oh, not fucking so with you. Sense, Eventually, bro. they gonna calm down and be like, man, like what do I got to do to, you know, get this nigga to react? This and that's when, you know, you can Yo, start getting Shout out my cousin, man. Like my cousin, they got these big ass dogs and I be like, why are you so mean to the dog? When they come in the house, they don't say anything. Oh no, with big ass dogs, you got to. And I now, now I see I'm like, He okay. not a dog whisperer, but that's correct. It's not a, no, it's really. nothing about like dog whispering or being, you know, special. It's like that's their pack mentality. That's what yeah. they understand. So it's like like if you yell and scream at them and shit, it's like that's yeah, that's nothing to them. It's like speaking Spanish if you don't know Spanish. They react to, you know, your mentality and like uh what was it? Your uh demeanor? Yeah, there you go. Your demeanor or your uh, aura. Like aura if you come in, in and people can feel like, you know, like you you stable, like you're not gonna mm. flip out, freak out. You good. 
It's if you different. come in like with a, you know, if you if you anxious and all that, like they can yeah. smell like, you know, fear and all that. They can smell it. Yeah, Especially yeah. big dogs. Like if it's a yeah. hound or whatever. So you good. This nigga's apparently a dog I love dogs, If y'all man. want this man Getting to take upset. care of y'all dog, you know what I'm saying? Get them together. <laughs> you feel Anybody me? need a dog no, sitter, I'll do it for free. Oh, you love dogs. I love dogs. That's that's my thing. You I feel like not, you just don't have time right now? I feel like I just don't have time. And I also I live in a condo. I have like a little that's not balcony. a problem. I don't, I don't have enough sp- this amount of space that I would like, and I feel like you sound you know, like you don't want to walk your dog. I no, I no, <laughs> like the way you just brought that no, down. No, I for sure <laughs> would, but like I just got like a small little apartment situation, and I would just feel I would feel claustrophobic. I want them to have a backyard copy, where they can run out, and you know what I'm saying. I feel it. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah, you got time one day though, because I that's I had my corso, and we were in apartments probably until you know like his sixth, seventh year. Mm. So it's like, but see, you the dog whisperer. I'm just a dog <laughs> friend. I'm not even like, I gotta practice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll tell you, it's not. You're you no operating practice. on high dog. Mode. There's no practice <laughs> on high dog. Mode. Like you know, there's no practice involved. I'm telling you, okay. you just that. Like you do just that. Go. You might not get all the results you want at first, go. but you'll get the dog to yeah. respond for real, for real. Give me oh a man. Dog whisper, dog. Oh, that's crazy. He know it works. He though, know man. it works. I can't wait till they start memeing you for being that. What? The dog, dog whisper. I never knew that you was going to go that deep with it. Well, how you think I get my dog to do what I need them to do? Hey, talk to me about St. Exactly. Louis music. <laughs> St. Louis music, man. Yeah. You feel man. like it's underrated? I don't. Yes. And you know, I don't. I, I guess I have a hesitancy to say underrated because I feel like the artists and the creatives that make up the art scene and the music scene are really great and loved um, and accomplished. A lot of, you know, they're super accomplished, but I feel like maybe people understanding that St. Louis is a music city Mm -hmm. is underrated. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you feel like it's a music city. Hell yeah. I mean, our, our hockey team is called the blues. Blues. You know what I'm saying? St. Louis blues. You didn't know that? You don't see all these people walk around with them big blue. Uh, what the name of the? Uh, uh, uh it's like a like a a, ba- a treble. I'm sound like eighty. I don't right? think it's a treble club. It's it's one of them. Clips. Something like that. Yeah, though. one of them. Yeah, something like he that. He told us and he don't know. One of them things. No, he just said you... he don't know, man. I'm saying if he don't know, how I'm gonna know? I don't. Because you hockey. know what a treble clef look like. And I ain't never seen them. Come you know play what a treble clef look like though. For sure. Okay, so you don't see them on people's I seen hats. The Utah Jazz. They have, they That's have Utah. Music he from. I'm Smooth. saying they have a they have a music symbol. I'm saying I could I could I can pick a music symbol. I'm saying I've never seen it. Whatever it is, I've never seen. I didn't even know they yeah. had a hockey team. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Shout out the Blues, man. We got yeah, the Stanley Cup a couple what years other, ago. What other yeah. what other teams y'all got with music name? Because um, he just said he just they just well, well music I don't know city. how I don't know yeah well well that's you know <laughs> yeah never seen that before. Now had. that you might not actually be a music note. I think that is like. A note with some wings. That's like a. It is a note with with wings. That, but yeah, that's that's like. Yeah. I didn't. No one said they knew. We just knew what we were talking was about because we said no. He didn't. He said he didn't know if it was a treble clef. Yeah, run the tape back for you could be wrong real quick. He said he didn't know, but we both get it because we seen it before. Exactly. You the one, only one ain't seen it before. The only one out of everybody in here ain't seen it before. Hey, yeah, he man. live under a rock. So maybe it is underrated. Maybe. See what I'm saying? That's what it, that's what's crazy. It's underrated. But beyond the sports teams, I mean, you got first of all, St. Louis was one of, if not the first major cities that people moved up from from the south. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like during the Great Migration. Mm-hmm. Copy. Like so so all that gospel, all the all that blues, that ragtime, that jazz arrived there very fertilely in the early don't quote me, maybe I'm wrong, but like the early twentieth century. Like it landed there super Furly, musicians on the train, musicians mm. driving, whatever. So, um, you know, Chuck Berry, the father of rock and roll from St. Louis. Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll of St. Louis. You feel me? Rest Ma- in peace. Miles, rest in peace, R.I.P. Miles Davis from East St. Louis. Metro Boomin, Donny Hathaway. Um, you know what I'm saying? Smino, like one of, one of my favorite rappers, favorite artists of all time. You know what I mean? Nelly, of course. SZA. Um, she was from St. Louis. I thought she was I think from she, Jersey. She, I think she spent some time. She definitely spent some time in St. Louis, in uh, Jersey too. But she from St. Louis. Copy. When she's on the cover of her album, she's wearing a jersey that's based off the St. Louis Blues jersey. 
Charlotte, when she's sitting on the. Mm. So he Put has seen on, man. So he's seen it before, on, man. No, I seen the back of a jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, so, no, I saw mm-hmm. numbers on the back of a jersey. <laughs> I thought it was a football jersey. Okay, but, it's okay. You don't and then even he like. Put me on. That's crazy. Even j- and that those are just like the super mainstream names. You know, you got, there's a whole, you know, shout out Samino. He really paved the way and like sent a new vibration through the city over these past couple years. And like, there's a whole art scene there. You know what I mean? Shout out Profil Reserve. That's like a street where it's on the south side where I'm from. That's kind of like a hub for the creative arts music scene. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got people like Southside Jerry, Mastermind, KV the Writer, um, 4D. You know what I'm saying? You got you got mad people, Rebel Katima, the Hella Collective. Like, it's so many people doing crazy stuff and People are gonna see, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, honestly, the biggest rapper in the world right now is from St. Louis, Sexy Red. I'm out of town, thugging with my round. She from St. Louis, oh right? Oh my God, y'all. You know what's crazy? When I first, is that sound, is that like a St. Louis sound? Bro. Or that sound, it sound like well, every Saint other Louis, song. Well, St. Louis is it didn't six sound hours like north, six hours south of Chicago and six hours north of Memphis. So I feel like Tay Keith produced Copy. that song and I feel mm. like, Memphis and St. Louis are so similar. Whenever I describe St. Louis, I'm like, you blend Detroit, Chicago, and Memphis, and that's that's what St. Louis mm. is. You know what I mean? And even even the way they talk, they lingo and Memphis like is blues and stuff too, right? That's crazy. You know what I mean? So um, and she just dropped this song called Ski, and like it's so crazy hearing her do a song called Ski. She got the world saying Ski, like that is like the oldest like. That's like the oldest word word in St. Louis, like, mm-hmm. and not a whole word. Like, I love it though. You know what, what I mean? Ski? Like, it's just like that's just, that's the bird call. Like, ski. You see a bro walk in the room, ski. You see a girl in the mall, baby girl, ski. You know what I mean? Remember, like, what's the name of his daddy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sm- small story. Alan Alan Anderson. Shout out to Alan Anderson. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> him and his daddy. When we went to we went to an NBA Israel. trip to Israel. Him and his daddy would do that. A call. Ski. <laughs> yeah, but to let each other know where they at in the party. I mean, that, that's 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 also what it is. Yeah, it, there, it, it has multiple. Yeah, yeah, but it was just it was funny to hear him. I'm having a good time it with was, it though. You know what I'm saying? I'm it was funny wrong, to hear man. them do that. No, for sure. And like actually sense. know that it makes sense. Yeah, like you could actually pick somebody out of a whole group of people just because mm-hmm. y'all two. Ain't know nobody that. else gonna do that. But now she just ruined that for them because now everybody's gonna be saying it. I mean, oh, well, yeah. but yeah, that's, that's the, the thing about St. Louis part. is that we have so many hidden gems. Everything in St. Louis I is just lie. like- you, The way you describe it, it makes a nigga want to come out there, but bro, nobody St. else describes it like that, just so you know. <laughs> Maya Angelou, St. Louis, like, man, like, we have so many, it's it's so similar to a Oakland or a Baltimore or DC or Philly or even Chicago, as big of a city as Chicago is, yeah. I feel like there's so many colloquialisms and just like so many things you have to, the way y'all talk, like y'all don't even say like when y'all telling a story, y'all don't be like, so I was like, y'all be like, so I'm um, da da da, he, uh, yeah, boy, um, you know what I mean? Bro. Like the way y- it's, it's so Dang, many. That's like, crazy, so, we really yeah, do I take am. it out. <laughs> we just yeah, said lemonade. Yeah, you know like, what I mean? He, like, come in, he looking. <laughs> ah, uh, uh, oh, I, I see him. He looking again. Ah, why the fuck he finna do? <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's that's it's, crazy. But it's, <laughs> why he just took us off? Like, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. It's that's why I love. I, I hate oh the. I hate God, like proper realize. English, bro. I love <laughs> slang and shit because it's like. You redefine the shit. It's cold. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? And it just sound yeah, better. Bro. It just Sometimes sound better. You feel me? You just took me out with that, dog. We really don't right, say it's like, true. We take out all the transition words when we tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> the matter they get. Clearly, it's, it's like, pissed him off. He no, I, nah, he love it. He no, said, I fuck with it. I fuck oh, okay. with it. He just picked up on it, like. Damn. So St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? We 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 have so much of that. Our food, like y'all still Saint, say dirty. Uh, shit, we bringing it back. What's good, dirty? You feel me? Like eat like. I I feel like we should bring it back. The old heads be saying dirty. Yeah. And honestly, I've been living in LA for ten years, so I don't. I'm probably not the guy to get the latest. Mm. You know what I mean? St. Louis slang, but um. Oh, you don't, you don't get to go home much right now. Oh, I I go I go home all the time. I I go home probably 
four or five times out the year. Oh no, you ain't. I ain't go. We can't ask like no grown people. It's like you got to go back mm-hmm. and ask the kids. Right? Oh like, yeah, hell yeah. You got to go yeah. talk to some kids. They gonna tell you. It's <laughs> yeah. gonna, I realized uh, my daughter. T- I say some shit sometimes, and my daughter be like, "Dad, stop saying that." And I'll be like, bro, you seven. Like, I've been cool. I was, I'm cool. Yeah. And she'd be looking like, bro, nah. She's like, L dad. Mm-hmm. L Riz dad. Oh, like, what are you talking about? L Riz. What's that? That's how they be talking. Like, what is that? They just, that, it's lingo. They got lit kids. She say that? She no, no, I don't know if she says that. Oh, I, don't I fuck with it though. I, I, I still just, be slick trying to learn it. I'll be yeah. mad as fuck. I'll grab a kid. Like, what that means? <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, like, don't you, don't, like, what does it mean? Stop making me feel Asking their friends, like, you next. What does it mean? <laughs> I'll be so mad if they oh, said some bro. shit like that to L, me. What'd you say? L what? L Riz? L Riz. Like, Riz is like, like, your pull, like, like, like your charisma, like your charisma, like if, if oh, like if you riz oh. a girl up, you game a girl up, like uh, you know when little Tyler be like, yeah, I hit her with that riz. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. I, well, I probably never caught it because he said riz, and I just didn't. You probably thought it just. I'm just on good. Twitter too much, man. Let me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we need that. Yeah, we need, hell yeah, bro. You know how many. DMs and tweets and shit I get where people abbreviating shit and yeah. doing shit like they might have some good shit to say. It's just <laughs> I can't understand the shit. Like yeah. <laughs> I'm just can't I'm, I'm the code. yeah I really can't. Like I like the little pictures people do when they'll like have a picture of a meme and then they'll put like just send her this or send him this. Oh yeah. They'll put let it'll be like 15 letters and people can decipher what the letters yeah. say. You're not black if you can't if you can't um. <laughs> If you if you don't know what this is, real talk, it's just like a bunch of letters and it'd it's be like, a bunch of letters and it'd boy, be like, if you don't get in the motherfucking house, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> oh, like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I gotta be like, damn, how do I know that? <laughs> it's true too. It's sad because be, 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 y'all, hey, the algorithm sending him the same shit I'm sending. Oh, yeah. what? You know the algorithm? Y'all sending us all this they shit anyway, man. Doing, y'all yeah. sending me that shit. Yeah, I look <sighs> at it. I look at it. It's funny. I feel yeah, updated. Bro. I feel like it's I, funny as fuck. Yeah. yeah, being a dancer uh, with Justin Bieber, yeah. mm-hmm. um, Becky G, mm-hmm. Beyonce, give me some challenges of being a successful dancer. How does one come to be? Because you know, Cause as our producer was saying, you could you you could easily go in the mirror and be an Instagram dancer, but to be stepping in and people being like, you know what, I can count on you for my fucking tour. Or I can count on you for this video and be of status. That's a different ball game. How do you go about that professionalism? Man, yeah, um, it's different, man. And, and also, got to shout out all the, all the like content creators and dancers that like did do a conventional route. Because I do think you know maybe it's it's a lot of people that have a different skill set than like me and people I came up with, and they're doing something differently now. But I honestly rock with a lot of it because. As you say that, you're like, how? What does it mean to be a successful dancer? Although success does change over your, your definition of success changes over time, so I can't judge it off old um, qualifications. Yeah. I do look back on my time as a young dancer and being like, damn, I was living my dreams, but I wasn't making no money. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. And like, I see these, I see these young kids like so talented and they just like they don't even have to go audition they don't even have to wait they don't have to do what i did waiting in line for cattle calls and you know what i'm saying doing bs bullshit jobs or shit you don't want to do that you don't artistically align with because man you could just do a video real quick with colgate and they pay you x amount of bands and you just doing what you normally do you know what i'm saying so i i i fuck with it i wouldn't change my route though you know what i'm saying um do you feel like that's like that was something that you had to do, like whether it paid or not? Yeah, for sure. Like I honestly just started thinking about making money. Like I just started. I'm 28 now, so I just started noticing people my age. I'm like, damn, bro, you got money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait, what? You got yeah. money like that? You know what I'm saying? And I and I'm, I'm I'm good right now. I'm grateful. Like I have I have everything that I need. You know, but um, I literally just loved dancing. Like I I grew up doing ballet and jazz. I was a studio kid, competition kid, convention kid, musical theater. All I like all I thought about up until the end of high school was like, I wanna be a touring dancer. Like I wanna dance for Janet Jackson. You know what I'm saying? I wanna dance for Janet, Janet Jackson, Jackson, come up yeah, again. Yeah. Bro, yeah, Janet, come. that's the one. Like that, yeah. she's the one, man. Tiana, you was right. 
<laughs> Tiana told me uh, uh, a long time ago. Like she's we, crazy, by the way. She, for sure. Yeah. She 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 tried to bring up uh uh like Janet like some song. And I was like, I didn't know the song off GP. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just mm. like, no, nah, I don't know it. But I didn't think I was gonna get in trouble for it. <laughs> and she was like, you don't, what you mean? Like, you ain't never been to the con, like she was like on me, like you've never been to a Janet concert. Like guys go to Janet concerts. Hell like yeah. they could go to Janet. I'm looking like, whoa. Like, <laughs> like, it's I personal. Even, yeah, I'm like, like, I didn't even make it to Michael's concert. She like, and nigga, like, right. she like, this I asked you about important. Janet. Yeah, I asked you about Janet, bro. Like, but it, yeah. it, it, it kills me uh, to, to say that I was absent during that time that they was doing that because like I said, it's, it's been now, females have come and said it, uh, dudes have said it, but people was like, nah, Janet was that and an inspiration as far as a performer. Mm -hmm. So a lot of dancers naturally want to hit now that they grown, especially, and they could do all the sexy stuff, they want to hit the Janet shit. If you had to do, uh, if you had to say, I don't want you to have to turn on nobody or nothing. I'm trying to say like, like what was your favorite choreography as far as like being on tour with somebody where you like, yo, I, it was, whether it was challenging, you had to bring the most out of yourself or you just like, yo, that, that choreography was just insane. Choreography is insane. Oh um, man, so oh man, I'm thinking so much shit. You well, number one, I head, yeah, that's yeah, I, I had to feel it. I was like, huh? I don't, not just one. <laughs> um, honestly, dancing for Janet was crazy. Like getting to do like. Wait a minute, time out. You said you, you actually did. Yeah, yeah. You said yeah. you was a dream. Now you say you did it. Yeah. Press the button. A nice little stunt button. Yeah, press the button. Oh damn, no, no. That's nice. Yeah, that was nice. I'm not trying. Like I'm not, try, I'm not trying to stunt, man. That was very no, nice. No, it's, no, it's, we love the we love the humble subtle stunt. stunt. Yeah, that was very smooth. No, nah, what are you doing? Just roll with it. You good? Yeah, Wear it. You're fine. Wear just it. roll with it. Wow. It's okay. Just roll it with it. You guys trying to pay me to be this guy? man. <laughs> Come on, we We're black. Not we black men, man. Come on, not just one. Not just one. Um, no, um, just paint it yourself. Yeah, I exposed myself. No, um, no, I just, I just. Honestly, I just said that earlier because it's literally just so true. It's a part of my story. Even sure. if I never danced with Janet, my story will always be, I saw the Discipline album behind the scenes DVD and I was like, you know what? Because before that, I was like, I was like more like, I want to be like Lil Romy or a Lil Wayne. Like yeah. I, I had a rhyme book and I was singing and I was rapping and you know. I think we I was all bad. to be Wayne. I was bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was battling people at school and the Y and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? The lock-ins and um. But when I saw that, and I saw that the lock-ins, you he know what I mean? Us. That's what I'm saying. He was bro, us, we man. Midwest, lock -in. Midwest kids, yes. bro. You know the YMCA lock-ins. Like, if you don't know, you just never going to know. Man, I'm battling. Uh, you know what I mean? Straight like, up. So, um, you know, but then when I seen the behind-the-scenes DVD, I'm like, oh, like, those are her dancers. Oh, that's that's Teddy Florence. Like, they, they just an all-black. They like some ninja. They not even, they just come in. They're the best of the best. You right. know what I mean? That just... Gave me something to aspire to. So yeah. that's why I just said it was crazy doing that choreo, like actually learning the Janet. It was like, that was mind blowing. But my favorite actual choreo was probably the Usher choreo. That was insane. Yeah. Like getting to do like caught up and like. Did you have to do the, the rollerblade shit? No, 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 no. I was going to say. I, they boy, wouldn't have hired me for that, man. Hey, hey, Usher, uh, boy. All the that, skate uh, shoes. Man, the man be out there skate singing. No, nah, he's Skate he's singing different. and dancing with a female. I'm like, boy, you choreo dance singing, dancing with a female. And, man, come on, dog. No, nah, he's different. The man he's... doing outfit changes on skates. I said, boy, I done seen it all. <laughs> I done seen it all. Boy, get sick of that other mic, take another one, put it on. I'm like, boy, you ain't going to sit. I'd have been sat down on the side. So, <laughs> halfway through performance athlete you know what i'm saying That's like crazy. go on that go go on that stage and like snap like yeah that 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 shit is just inspiring to me and yet being in those rehearsals like the dancers of usher mm -hmm. are like just an expression of that energy like when you shout shout out rio rio the choreographer is from st louis he from the south side okay so by the way on the dance scene st louis is the, exactly the same. It's the glue to everything, to everybody. Like, um, Rio, uh, Red Williams, Flex, Todd, like, um, every you know everybody in um, yeah. Amy Allen, Jamaica Craft, uh, and these are people that was choreographing for us. I didn't get to work with Jamaica, but um, they hired me not on some you from St. Louis shit, on some you doing this shit, but 
it was like every day I might get fired. It's competitive. You know what yeah, I mean? They're like, what? Shout out Antonio from DC. He's one of the best dancers in the world. He's like dance captain. He's like, man, you got some flips. You gotta do some flips. I'm like, bro, I don't flip. He's like, yeah, you do. I'm like, yeah, you do. All right. So I just I just start doing shit. And then after that job, I'm like, whoa, like I have a lot more in me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, that was that was super inspiring. What do you take with what do you take with you from that experience as far as now doing your own uh, music and stuff like I can only imagine you setting up for your own tour and putting some yep. pressure on yourself to have choreo. So, uh, what watching those artists as far as their work ethic or what do you want to take with you into your own tour? Man, just to be the best, man. Like honestly, that's always my north star. Not necessarily to be better than anyone or, um, you know like be some numerical placement, but I just want to, We all those artists that I just named from St. Louis, all these artists we've been naming are the best at what they do. You know what I'm saying? And like, that's what keeps you here. That's why Usher is doing the Vegas residency like 20 years after dropping the biggest album of all time. You know what I'm saying? Headlining festivals is because he still to this day can go out there and give a show that nobody can, nobody else can do what he does. And you know, it just inspires me, man. Like everything from my physical conditioning to me singing to rehearsals, like being on time, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Understanding that like, hey, when we show up at this time, everybody is, time is money, you there know what I'm go. saying? And we we want to maximize. So, um, yeah, and shout, shout out touring, man. I actually, we just wrapped up my first headline tour. Tour, we're sold out, man, every single day, eight okay. cities. Shout out, shout out the fans, shout out the gango. Okay, gango. Yeah, I'm, so. I, I'm, I'm I'm going to press that one. That's nice. I'm going to press that one. That's nice. Sometimes it's got to be pressed. Bro, because it's been a journey. Going back to the, you know what I'm saying? It's been a journey, man. <laughs> Theme of today, baby. I love it. Shout out like Junior, man. If you're just tuning in, see Mon Amongst Men. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> if you had to um, describe that leap mm -hmm. of, you know what I'm saying? I'm a dancer and I'm doing these things, but. I feel like it's more in the tank. What makes you make that decision to say I'm opening the other door? Because I ain't saying that like you had to close that. It's not like you have to stop dancing. But well, as far as your, like you said, your North Star changing up. By the way, I'm taking that and I'm putting it in my fucking pocket. <laughs> North that's Star, man. a great way to fucking see it. Man, uh, because, cause, yeah, it's not a destination. We're never going to reach, you know what I'm that's, saying? That's why I said it. I'm taking it. It's, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking it. I'm just giving you credit now because hey. I'm probably going to forget to do the annotation at the bottom. Hey. Um, in college chill, I had to redo the references. That shit was kicking my ass. That's what oh, they don't talk about. You don't was, cite your sources? Yeah, I was on college chill. We had to cite sources. and Well, I honestly don't know if everybody did that, but I like once I get in mode, like I really typed all my papers because I like typing papers. I like articulating the idea. But citing the sources, I realize it blows me, so I'm just getting this out the way. I so stole the North Star. He, he, I stole the North Star from my dog, but it works. It's a it's a splash. I think we all should add it. Splash. All right. Hey, that that right there is in the ether, man. We all, you know, what I mean? we all got down. <laughs> but um, no, nah, yeah, the transition. Yeah. I think it was honestly the more and more I go on, it was just an inevitable thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, by the time I got into high school, I was like, okay, I'm focused on dance, and I'm not gonna focus on rapping and singing, you know. So then by the time I started making music and I was an adult, I felt like, oh, this is so random. People gonna think I'm coming out the blue with this shit. And my immediate friends in LA who met me in LA as a dancer, they were like, damn, I didn't know this. And I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. Everybody back home though was like, yes, bro. Like, oh, like finally. Yeah, they like, finally, like, I'm glad. I'm like, what you mean? And they're like, bro, you sang the solo at the da 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 da. You did the da da. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we liked it then. You know what I'm saying? My closest people, like everybody's like, yeah, it's fine. So um, the transition really just happened. I was on tour. I was on tour with Bieber for like two and a half years, and we was in Europe for like, hey man, yeah, that's nice. We already stated it. So I was. <laughs> I'm just, no, it's nice. It's nice. Go ahead. You got it's it. not a problem. Yeah. You got yeah, it. You guys, you guys giving me trauma, you. man. We pressed it for you. We pressed it for you. But no, we was we was over there and we was in Europe for three months and I was with my bro Ru R U. He's an amazing artist. He's super fire. Dope. He's from Sacramento. And um he was a performer. Shout out Sacramento. Shout out Sacramento. Oh bro. Love Sac. I hooked that's, out that's, there. Love it there. Oh, it's one of my favorite places, man. Oh bro. So beautiful. But um he I would be with him and he was another dancer 
tricker on the tour and um, tricking is like martial arts with flipping so he would dance but then he would like go hit a crazy flip you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so um i would just be with him on the off time and he would be in ableton just making beats and just you know fucking around and we would just be getting high i'd just be freestyling just on some fun shit though because i would always still freestyle like just like yeah like out the blue you know what i mean like yeah i got the i got these little random freestyles <laughs> and then my bro would just be like yo that, that shit hard you yeah. know what i'm saying i'm like fuck it so we went to this it's like that we were in berlin so it's like the german equivalent of like a, a guitar center or whatever equipment thing we have we went in there and i just got me like little four pieces of equipment mic stand well interface mm -hmm. and uh some headphones and so the next eight months on the road instead of like i was before going out every night part i was 21 20 you know what i mean so i turned 21 in a row so i'm i'm out we you know what i mean after the show going to the club that turned into me staying in a hotel and getting beats off youtube and freestyle and then recording and writing raps and then i'm like damn i think i want to make a tape and then after, once I started doing that, once I started having breaks on the road, I would go to the studio when I'm back in LA. And then by the time I got off tour, I dropped the project and it was like, damn, I think I'm finna focus on this. And then slowly I just started doing less and less dance jobs. And, That's fire. Yeah. That's fire, man. Yeah. Go after y'all shit, man. Hell yeah. Fellas at home, go after your shit. No matter Hell what yeah. you're doing, you can start it both right now. Right now. That's what be crazy. It's the right now. You ever had something where you felt like you should have made a decision on it? I was so glad when you left your other job and came with me in New York because I was you sick just of answer the question. For I was him? sick of firing people. You didn't even give me a chance, ass. No, I meant another thing that I didn't. I'm talking about a story that I don't know, nigga. Read your mind. <laughs> Got it. Got it. No, no, I'm saying like, like, because yeah. in New York when you came, it was like that. Though that helped you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. It was like you needed to leave anyway, but it was like. I needed you at the moment. So it was my panic that made the decision. You see what I'm saying? Like when I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I can't trust nobody to fucking do it. Yeah, I was like yeah. rushing you to do it. So I meant like something where you felt like you needed to be doing something, but you was just caught up in some whole other shit. I just never really got caught in that. Like, well, cause people get caught in that decision making and they don't, t they don't take it as smooth as he did. His was just like, damn, people are saying that I'm gonna be receptive to it and I'm gonna try and do it simultaneously. Like. Some people feel like you gotta like walk into your job and say, I fucking quit yeah. so that you can wait two weeks to mm. get the other job. And it's like, that's the wrong way to go about it. Uh, what, what you saying? I, I just wanted to say, just cause I feel like that's important before yeah. you even, I, looking back, although, although I don't regret anything, if anything, I wish I would have kept dancing a little bit longer More. just to like- Make stack, sure you got it out there. Stack system. my, stack well, stack, bread, stack so. my bread, oh, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, cause yeah. like, then it got to a point in the music when, I stopped dancing, but then I started dancing again because it's like shit. I dropped my Project Valley Opals, but it's tight it's right money, now. So I was, yeah. I started dancing and started auditioning. I was driving DoorDash. I was teaching classes. I was doing everything. Yeah. So you know, what I mean, I feel like if you have a, if you're creative and you have a side job, where even if it's something you don't super enjoy, but especially if it's something you enjoy a little bit, mm -hmm. do that shit. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah. Yeah. I wish I could drive door dash to just people will overreact to me popping up to the door. Right, that little side money. Right, let me get that little I side I wanna money. drive Uber uh, Black XL. I wanna drive. It's gonna be even worse. You gotta drive with a ski. Yeah. Nah, I can't, they gonna be nervous. I wanna <laughs> put a suit on though and just do it for the day. Like, I feel like they make a lot of money like a truck driver. They probably do. You see we what I'm saying? on the show so we can break it down. Nah, I ain't trying to put it on the show and tell yeah. everybody I'm doing it. Well, everybody can't do it because you got to get the truck first. Man, I was on Instagram like, insurance. man, this young DoorDash, man. You see me? <laughs> bro, I was freestyling. You this on young DoorDash. Bro, I had a whole young DoorDash era. Oh, wait, that was real. Tape out, bro. Young DoorDash? Yes, tape out. So like, I'm talking about like. I'm, the I'm talking you about. You said you have an actual tape called Young DoorDash. No, 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 no. Oh, I, no, shit. Like oh, whoa. No, no, no. But I, I had like this this um project called Valley Hopefuls that was kind of like. My, I don't know. It, it it was it was moving in my in my world at the time. You know what I'm saying? And like, most, some people probably thought I wasn't working, but I was 
I was on his, I was DoorDash and then doing music. You know what I mean? So I would be on the Instagram like, fuck it, yo, it's young DoorDash. I'm getting more cash. <laughs> Call me, get your food more fast. Hey, yeah, I got some. <laughs> what little, what little Reese say, man? Hey, I, I need to do some research. <laughs> some research. I need to do some research. Real talk. I'm finna listen to all his projects. Now that he done told me all these goddamn well, stories, bro. Said Valley Hopeful. Valley, Valley Hopeful. Hopeful. Wait, you didn't or tell hopefuls. your story? Oh, we already, we already heard he your said, story. No, he said I took his story. Oh, yeah, you yeah, took he it. Yeah, he took, he took okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The nigga See? was I'll, I'll tell the story Yeah Since I took the story anyway This nigga was working uh, uh, Had did the um, the uh, What's the bus, bus called What's the bus the, No pace, pace bus Nigga driving the pace bus Moved up Was doing the man and draw Whatever the, Whatever He moved up his position Did all that He like I ain't do all that to be But it was I felt like it was a pride thing Cause I'm like I'm finna go to New York By myself Like come on Fuck are you talking about? You finna drive the bus? Like I don't get no fuck about that bus, boy. Like bring your ass yeah. out here. Like I'm not finna be out in New York. Don't know about the training and the uh, uh, you know like yeah. He like not I just had to, he but like, I had to do. I mean, it's a it's a serious job. It was like three, yeah, it was like three months worth of like real work. He like, like I had to, to do a lot to do like this. Yeah. He like fuck you. I had to do this shit. Uh, and I got my shit set up here in Chicago. Like do well out there. Like, plus I was making decent money. At that's that what I'm job saying. Like it's so like, I was just like you, you ain't gonna tell me nothing. Like, but do you feel like you just y'all were ultimately just like. Made to just be in a more creative lane and just like that's what I oh, felt yeah. like expressing the whole time, ourselves and but shit. It, it had to become a pain in his ass first, and then I ended up uh not using my assistant no more and trying to go another direction. And then my homie had to go back home, and then yeah, I called him like, Hey, bro, I can't, it's, nah, he it's came, too much he came in and, and out, got me. yeah, it's oh, too okay, much yeah, in and like, out, yeah, like, yeah. this is too much. I totally get it, whatever they're paying you, dog, I yeah. got you, yeah, like, hell yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Ended up being a better situation, and then I didn't have to be dolo, and now we have Iman amongst men. So hell yeah, thank thank God for him doing that shit. Exactly right. To quit. You like I brought God that back quitting. around. Yeah, real talk. I don't want you to ever be a quitter, but, uh, but you can be a me. next mover. Because I don't feel like that's a, a quitter. Move. Yeah, yeah. Because you had the job already, so it's a next move. It's not really a, a quit. Quit is like, I fucking hate this place. I quit. I don't give a fuck what I do tomorrow. I fucking quit. Like no. that's a totally. I was good. Yeah, I was good to yeah, that. Yeah, you didn't do that shit. Notice. Yeah, you got to do that. Walk out of that yeah. smooth. Like, hey man, I gotta go handle some stuff. With my my brother. You know what I'm saying? And then pop up doing better. You know what I'm saying? That's how we did. And then we came home. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good time. <laughs> Who inspired you as far as making your own music? I know you yeah. talk about the St. Louis. Is it? Uh, I know you said there's some 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 church in it. Do you oh, feel like sure. that's instilled in your music? For sure, man. I, I grew up going to, ch like, up until I was, like, 14, I went to church oh, damn. every you Sunday. As a, yeah, for oh, sure. And I'm not, you know, I believe in God. Do they teach y'all how to sting for y'all's stomach? My bad to cut you off. Do they teach y'all how to do that? <laughs> How the fuck right, do y'all do that? From? Cause I be trying to do it, but I can't, my right. throat gets <laughs> paused. My throat gets scratched. Like I can't do really. it. <laughs> I'm saying, they say I can't, they like, they say you're not supposed to try and sing from that? your, from your. <laughs> <laughs> it's man. crazy, man. I'm really trying. Uh, okay, no, like ahead. when you I'm sing, fine. like if you ever try and sing, bro, like try and hit like a high note, but control it. And like when it start like doing that, sometimes you're like, uh, it feel like you gotta, yeah. like gotta do that. Yeah. But a singer, they're not they're not pushing from here. Yeah. They're oh, pushing yeah. from here, so yeah. it's smooth. Like, yeah. unless they like really finna run out of breath, you don't hear they shit start yeah, they shaking start at all. Yeah, they, it feel like you'll think that's the end of their note, and they'll just get quiet to get loud. Like, yeah. like how the fuck do y'all do that? How, how do you? Yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> Man, well. Or you just I feel like um you just had it. Well, first of all, the the your voice is a muscle. You know what I'm saying? So like um with sing your 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 singing is a is a singing comes from a system of like muscle coordination inside. You know what I mean? So <laughs> whether you just called me uncoordinated. No, nah, hell no. Nah. No, I'm I'm just I'm just saying I'm not if you pass me if you threw any type of ball at me right now, I'm probably not gonna catch it. So like the boot fits. <laughs> you like, yeah, nigga, I can't hoop and you can't but I'm just, I'm just saying you can't like do what I do, I can't do what you do. But even. but but I also like to put it like that because um in anything, people can become coordinated because people feel like, oh, I don't know how to sing. I wasn't born being able to sing. It's like, no, actually, like being sing singing is about like using your muscles a certain way to produce sound with your voice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So 
there definitely probably is some like singers in church that I grew up around that like they actually had like somebody telling them, yo, sing like this, da da da. But I feel like church is just like people be singing for real because it's like number one, it's spiritual, and then mm-hmm. also depending on the church that you're at. Like mine, we didn't have no drum. Mine was kind of like a more traditional like missionary Baptist church. We ain't even had no drums. You know what I'm saying? So the organ player and the piano player playing hard as shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't really we only really got a mic. We don't got too many mics. Mm-hmm. So you gotta sing loud. Choral singing, you gotta sing a, to a certain volume to hear yourself with everyone else. So I feel like it's just a lot of that. But um, yeah, singing with the diaphragm, that's it. I be I be I smoke a lot of weed, man. So you know, <laughs> I don't know if I sing from the diaphragm all the time, but I'm I'm, I'm finna start doing it though. That's oh, crazy. Yeah, I might start building. Also, oh, you didn't you didn't have like like training. For yeah, it. the training. I had training. Yeah. Okay, I had training. Okay. I mean, I is that like choir training or that's like you hire somebody? Because I'm you know what I'm saying. I might I'm not hiring. No, anybody. no. I lied. <laughs> I just I, I would take back the lie. I, I had, just said I was thinking about it. I'm not. I mean, take I have had like. Me. I have had some one-on-one vocal training, like especially recently now that I'm like singing, like making albums and shit. Yeah. I have like a, a vocal coach, and um, when I was a kid, and I was doing musical theater. Once I got into it a little bit more, it's like, all right, let me get into the having one-on-one session. But a lot of my training vocally came from singing chorally in mm. musical theater. I did a ton of musical theater, being like the kids' chorus and like. At a prof- at like a um a professional like theater like I grew up doing this uh, program at this theater called the Muni in St Louis it's this huge theater St Louis also that's another influence St Louis so you have the gospel music but then you have the theater community that I grew up in and I did a lot of theater as a kid so that influenced me a lot that was a lot of my training as well I didn't really sing in church I was just on the usher board. I'm not to this day. I believe in God. I, I don't really identify. I don't really identify with a specific religion or church, but you know. So I was even that kid then. I was just like, man, me and my cousin yeah, was trying, just trying to just go get some fruities from the from the gas station or the little liquor store down the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, but um, learned a lot though. But you know, you got the gospel. I. E. He waiting on service to end. <laughs> <laughs> bro, and it was supposed to end at twelve. It's one thirty. No, bro. <laughs> and nobody's we just act like it's not one thirty right now. Oh, like, bro, like, that's how it be. Like, that's how it be. Like, act like it's are we not? not like, I'm sorry, God. I love you. But. Oh, oh, bro. <laughs> but like, oh, bro. bro, this is. I'm a, sorry, God. I love you. Real bro. talk. And then it'd be like afterwards, after all the God, you know, mm. the necessities. Y'all gonna talk? Two hours of just tailgating. <laughs> Y'all gonna talk? Well, I'm gonna go and get up out of here. Yeah, 30 minutes go by. 30. Well, I'm gonna go and get up out of here. Oh, 30 minutes go by. And I'm the kid just like, you know. Oh, no, anyway. we was the badass kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was I was the kid, you know, we our, the, the pastor might have to like look at you a certain way. Or my mom might be looking at me from a certain way from the choir. From the choir. That's the thing. My mom was in the choir. My mom sang at like four different churches when I was a kid. You know I what I mean? I was so, so bad. I knew the collection plate had the little, you know, when they put it in the, the thing, if you tried to put your hand in there, it was like, like spiked. <laughs> they look like teeth. Yeah. What? It was so people didn't reach. Wait, they didn't do that? Not that Chicago shit. Man. What the heck? They didn't do that? That's no. how bad I was. No, we had everybody. Some good, no, we uh, all we all knew. Yeah, we, we had yeah, some velvet in there. We used to there, all man. go in there. Like velvet? try and see if they you could fish a velvet. buck out of there. No. Velvet is nice. Yeah, it was oh, like a, it was like it was like it was like a salad bowl. Nah, know? that's too nice. Nah, our shit was too a big, nice. It was this like big ass basket. And they had like a handle on it you could put mm. around your back. Damn. Shit used to be full, like especially if it was like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock masses. Yeah, 10 30. It's full. 10:30. Yeah, it's that full. 10 30 used to be mm. lit. They dump it in front yeah. of everybody Look. too. Like they do it in the middle of service. See, we used they to try and get in and get that box. 8 a.m. You get that 8 a.m. mass in, you good, dog. You could get up out of there. I'm, get, man, I'm about, about to get y'all the, the game. Let me get y'all the game. Let me get y'all the game, dog. I'm trying to heist 8 a.m., you in and out of there. Not church robbery. You know what I'm saying? No, not the robbery. No, no, no. He that's played too much Grand Theft Auto. No, I was trying to tell y'all about. how to get out of church early because he said oh, you'd yeah, be yeah, there yeah, all yeah, day yeah, till yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to let you know which service is going to get you out of there. 1030, everybody up, everybody dressed nice. They looking good. They finna enjoy themselves. Oh, yeah, church. the 830 is the. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, let's, let's, let's get this in real quick. So real we can, talk. I got yeah. a lot to do today, service. Yeah. That's the do today, the service. Game. Yeah. Real talk. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of places to be. I got kids that I got to tend to, and they ain't going to church. You know what I'm saying? I ain't getting no sleep last night. Newborn. Like, that's that mass. 
But at 1030, you finna be in there I'm clapping, doing, dancing. Yeah. yeah, it's it's happening. You see what I'm yeah. saying? 12 o'clock, forget about it, dog. Yeah. You can't even find parking. Forget about it. You'll be there till five. Good night. <laughs> Good yeah. night. Let's do dinner. Real talk. Uh, what's your approach to making your debut album? Uh, forward, right? Forward for Ward. Or for Ward. Mm, for, for Ward. Yeah. Forward as in. Like for your Ward? For I'm his Jordan last Ward. Name's Ward for his family. So for my family, I'm not. For I'm, his family. I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I'm the last Ward, so I don't have any. You said but, it three times though. So you got forward because it's um, you know, uh, we always Man, trying to forward. push forward. We always trying to evolve, even sonically. We trying to evolve in our world. You know, can never never invented anything under the sun, but we just try to do something a little different different than we done before every That's time. Right. Um, you got four Ward because it was originally supposed to be like a self-titled album. Mm -hmm. I wanted to like go a little further back than just my 20s and like reflect on who I was as a kid. So I wanted to be Jordan. But then, um, you know, I just discovered the deeper me and I always wanted to get Ward on my knuckles because I'm the last Ward, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to be like the OG one day, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? War business. You know what I mean? Like war business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, and I, I will be. I just I just gotta I just gotta do a few things, you know what I mean? But um, you know, so there's a big family element. I'm I'm talking about myself, Ward, who who I am, who I've been. I'm talking about my family, where I come from. Copy. And it's also like for Ward, it's like a lot of the music I'm I'm talking to my family. You know, people think songs like Fam Jam Four Thousand or Price Tag is to like uh uh, a, a significant one, a significant other, a woman, and it can be, but it's really to specific members of my family. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, and it's also for war, the dedication, meaning like I'm starting a new chapter as the as the last war. You know what I mean? Like the, everything I'm doing is for war. That's why I gotta wake up every day because I want to have that family. You know what I mean? Wow. And then the third one, uh, for war, is my fourth project. So I got two EPs, Copy. a peak at the summit. I got a tape called Valley Hopefuls, and I got a EP called Remain Calm. This is the fourth project forward, Copy. and um, it's See, a, that's why I said yeah, yeah. and and I and and, said and that was three. So now there's the fourth meaning, which is a slight, almost a fourth meaning, but you got four meanings, and it's um a forward in the story because it's my debut album. You know what I mean? So it's like we're not in chapter one yet. We just going back catching people up. You feel Copy. Me? I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. And that's four it. meanings. Mm hmm. I love it. That's that that making motherfucker want to listen to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's a new artist, I feel like that's what we get robbed up, so, robbed yeah. of so much today. Mm -hmm. Is like there's so much music that you don't have to do your research. Mm -hmm. So you may be, you may have heard four five songs from somebody and not know shit about this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So you reluctant to even, you get what I'm saying? Like I'm just glad you're giving a little history behind everything. Oh, yeah. What you hoping for from now, man? I just hope it lasts forever. Mm. Like I just hope it just like mm. people just I just hope it lives. You want it to be timeless. Yeah, timeless. Timeless. You know what I mean? Like just timeless. Is that a music. focus when you're making music? For sure. If it's not time well, you know, I was about to say if it's not timeless, what are we doing it for? That that's not true. Cause sometimes I just want to make something because mm. it feels good right now and it's fun. And yeah. you never you know, I don't know if some shit is timeless. We just streaming the shit and then you can look back. You feel me? But um I think when it comes to putting out music and putting out a project and definitely this project, I want to make something timeless because that's what that's what inspires me. You know what I mean? It's crazy because I I had a totally different outlook on music um, prior to releasing the last two things I released. I feel like I took music for I'm finna put y'all on this shit that I be on that I like to listen to in my headphones while I'm by myself doing this. I'm gonna make a version of this, you know what I'm saying? And this is what y'all finna listen to. And I'm like, the reason ain't nobody fucking with that <laughs> is cause that's what you listen to when you by yourself to yourself trying to get ready for a game. Like you just created a something that is like, unless they loners and they trying to be over there to they self and they already invested in you as a loner ass person, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna match. So what I started to do was like, I'm like, well, if there's, if music is, if the, if the business of music is making the listener buy the product, I'm like, 
when I want to do music now, like even when I record it, I like trying to have more people in the studio. Energy. Like, yeah, I need that energy because I need to be able to say a line and they don't like it. And I could see it early, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause people will say like, you'll see them scrunch their face up while you in the booth like, what? Yeah. Why you say it like you that? You feel like that too? You need more people around so that they can judge. Yeah, how do you record? You got, is it a hundred people in the in the studio or you like the intimate no, joint? You got the entourage? Definitely not, man. I don't even have an entourage in life. I just got like some good, I got a few good people, you feel me? Yeah. I got a, d a dope community, but like, um, I don't usually move like that, but different things work for different people. Cause everybody makes different music for a different reason that serves a different purpose. Cause um, what I was gonna say is I totally feel you on that. Like you wanna make music that maybe you don't, but I think there's a, there's a lot of fulfillment in making music that translate and connects with people. Yes. You just wanna connect, you know what I mean? That's what music originally yeah. does. You just wanna connect. I also do hope though that like you don't leave that loner. Oh no, no no no! Like because 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 people do. There are people that like you gotta have them already though. But no yeah yeah yeah. That's like, what I'm saying. I'm like once man, you got people, the people, people want to hear what you gotta say, man. I what feel the it, heck? but I'm saying like, I feel your style maybe like your you see specific. What I'm, saying? Ass, I'm like, like if I just if you want to grow just, a little bit. Yeah, I'm like yeah. I need to make a simpler music where you just really just honestly some of this music that's that I just put out on my deluxe is literally just so people are getting used to my voice. Hell yeah. It's like you have to accept that I rap. G. Like Hell I'm gonna yeah. consistently get y'all music so y'all could be like, if I hear it, like, I know that's Iman. Like he don't even want to say this or say that, right? And then it's like once you have an actual tour and people are like, okay, I can come to the show because he puts together a good show, mm -hmm. and it's fun. Like I have fun at the show. Like of course I come see him if he. So now I can go on tour. It's like now if I want to make this left and show y'all like, hey, gee, this really how I'm becoming. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna still give y'all y'all a couple of records, but this album is gonna be geared more to a hip hop. I want everybody to wear a fucking hoodie in the crowd and bring a lighter whether you smoke or not. Like, yeah, oh yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. just bring one for me, my dog. Yeah. Like we are not doing cell phone lights at this concert. Like at yeah. some point I am gonna want to do that because I always wanted to like, I like, you know how you see yourself doing some shit? I wanted to be in the crowd and look at myself performing and then look around the crowd and see everybody dressed in hoodies like at a Wu-Tang concert. Hell yeah. Like, it's like a nightmare. Call that bitch the hoodie tour, bro. It's, it's just like cold, nightmare. like you, uh, like you seeing it. everybody like this or like the, uh, uh, uh. It's gonna get shut down. No, it's and not. you know it. Sell some fire-ass. Everybody fire with ass, hoodies and Sell some fire-ass merch. Word. And then, and then we definitely got to put uh, Dominican Republic on there. Oh like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the Dominican Republic, do a show there. They ain't gonna shut that down. He'll handle that. <laughs> it's gonna be every show. Every huh? show. Every show. Any, especially any time you throw it out there and let us. No, we gonna we gonna move on. Go ahead. We, just, we have to now. <laughs> we gonna get you out of here, Jordan. Don't worry. This no, is, I'm, I'm having I, a good time. Oh, bro, that's what I be saying. Uh, I'm man, my dog time. chilling. Yeah, man, my dog was born at the crib. Okay, well, you, my you, dog you, right you up the street in St. Louis. Huh? You know Aquarius? Cancer. Oh no, cancer. cancer? I was Aquarius? like cancer. Aquarius. I was like, who is an Aquarius? Yeah, <laughs> he I, don't, said, do I don't know why. I thought you said, do you know an Aquarius? I was like, you, <laughs> you know an Aquarius? Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> said, I don't know him. <laughs> if he just said yes, I just got <laughs> up and walked out. <laughs> I don't. Like, nah, you an Aquarius? Like, no, he's not. Him. Yeah, no, nah, nah, said no. We like, like to ask all the guests at our mm -hmm. show, what are you working on right now, personally, or working on improving right now in your personal life? Man, discipline, man. Discipline in everything. Discipline in my how i express myself mm. how i react to my emotions my physical discipline you know i i am um, going back going back to the um meant uh the wait how do i start that how do i start that shit off mentally and emotionally you know what i'm saying you got you got to meditate you got to pray you got to journal you got to do something to you know um focus my mind and yeah. then food you know i just try to stay disciplined in my realm um uh, physical, physically, you know, just running every day, lifting weights, doing mm -hmm. body weight. Um, financially, trying to be more disciplined. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Trying to build. That's a first, man. That's a first, right, man? Come on, man. Get look, smart man. I don't with know that what's money, going man. on, man. I don't know. Straight up, I'm just get paying. smart with that money, man. Yeah. But yeah, you know, getting uh, getting disciplined in that, and musically, just trying to work, man. You know, just being disciplined and. Um, being human and enjoying life too. You know what I'm saying? Trying to just go out and just like be be a human and not be afraid or doubt myself. You know, just existing and, and enjoy life. 
See, you know. that's the leader of the pack, man. Get you a dog. You'll be straight. Oh, bro. I, need a, I want a dog so bad. I want yeah. a dog so bad. Hey, man, somebody help this man rescue a dog. You need to rescue yeah. a dog, too. No, no, no. Don't yes, rescue. Yes, he do. Don't, yes, no, he do. He no. be great for it. No, rescue, you got to kind of have your sea legs you already. You but I'm saying he could, he could rescue a smaller dog. No, it don't have to be you a wanna, If you want a dog and you want, like, a buddy, get you a, just make sure it's a baby. A puppy. Yeah, a Whisper. puppy. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's all. The whisperer. Yeah. Ain't no whisper. <laughs> Y'all like that, huh? The dog. All right, cool. I'm gonna just bring the dog in next time. <laughs> we'll have fun. They thought Dr. was for doctor. Damn. Before we let you go, man, is there anything else you want to promote <laughs> on the show? Man, album forward out right now, man. Out forward, right now. Out forward. right now. You know what I'm saying, man. Forward. Four you feel me? Um, we got new music on the way. Hmm. Um. Just announced today we're going on tour with Black. I'm opening for Black. Congratulations. In October. Oh, yeah. Thank congrats, you. congrats. Congrats. Thank bro. you. Shout out Black, man. I'm Stop really by. grateful for that opportunity. Hey man, I was stunned because it's been a team effort. I got a I got a big team that helped that, you know, I wouldn't be here without them. My manager Eddie, my DJ Cotto, my my Cotto, my executive producer, Lido, my videographer Ray, my label Interscope, Joanne, Tim, Crystal, Jamie, like it's it's a big team effort. You feel me? I can't wait for you to win an award so that you could reel off a bunch right. of names. I'm so bad at that, and you are listen though. You you doing a yeah, hell of a yeah. job. For, I was a dancer though, so I was at the bottom of the barrel. You know what I mean? I that I, means I was nothing a, to it me. Do, as no, far to as him it means names. something because he was the nigga waiting on somebody to say his name. Well, I'm, Still, I'm just saying you gotta remember the name. I'm saying I'm, I'm just he, reeling them like motherfuckers good. off. Yeah. I'm like, but you it's are like damn good at that. When you a dancer, you're there before everybody. So like. You know what I'm saying? You dare with this with the sound team, with the photo team, Copy. with the you so it's like spend, you see how time. if you see the artists come in after everybody's already been there doing all the work and they either come in with good energy or bad energy and it's like, man, we done. All right, everybody been in here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like hours. and it's not it's not just me. I just get on the mic and talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I will stunt because we we've been going in. Everybody That's works wrong. fucking hard. You know what That's I'm saying? Dope. I wouldn't have just did that by myself, but yeah. Shout out Black Man, thank you for having me in the gang, oh, you feel me? Um Black Tour, man. Um new music on the way, man. We got we got we got a lot on the way, man. Yeah, you seem excited about we it. We got a lot on that's the way. That's what we man. like to hear, man. Yeah, that's what's up. Let the people know where they can follow you and follow your career. Man, MySpace backslash <laughs> Huntsman. Um, I was about to say, yo, I was gonna oh, say, we, I didn't we know. gonna make him a page right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't it's know. It's coming back, bro. It's coming. Nah, it's he must have it's music on his page. I don't know. Nah, that'd be crazy. Or Tom himself. You said, I thought Tom was Facebook. I'm finna drop my whole oh, yeah. album on MySpace. Who's Tom MySpace is Facebook. Guy? Who's MySpace? Who's a MySpace guy? He got Mark a Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg? No, Mark Zuckerberg is Facebook. Oh, what the hell? Tom Are we is... switching them over? No, Tom is MySpace. Tom is MySpace. Yeah. Remember with the goofy picture with him looking behind you? <laughs> he was everybody friend. <laughs> he, Tom is, I thought that was, okay, Facebook is Mark. He was on Facebook. No. No, 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 Tom is on Facebook. Tom was on Facebook. But he like, started, yeah, y'all like... having fun? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was him, that's him, <laughs> that's him. <laughs> Yo, I used to Yo, be a so Tom, mad a Tom Anderson to podcast would go crazy. Yo, oh, who yeah. would not want to list? Tom. Yeah, Give me put Tom. Tom on the list. Get me Tom. Tom Anderson, we're coming to you. Pause, yeah. but we're coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Cool. Do? Deluxe on the way. Um, Deluxe on the shout way. Shout out the whole gang, man. Shout out St. Louis, man. Shout out Amon Amongst Men, man. Shout out Uninterrupted, hey, man. man. This is fire, man. I'm grateful to be here. Real right. shit. Make sure to record that. St. Louis, big south side, you know what I'm saying? Big gang old big south side, big third dish, you already know what I'm saying? Gotta get the drops. He just rears the whole list. Gotta get the drops. I told you that nigga's the best at reading the list. Boy, I swear for God. He know it too. That's why he's just like, yeah. (laughs) As always, man, thank you for rocking with us on Iman Amongst Men. I am your host, Iman Shumpert. And I'm Ari Shumpert. Thank you to our guest, Jordan Ward. What's up? Big St. Louis, big St. Louis. (laughs) Ski! (laughs) Ski!